Skill India Report 2020 is a great surprise. But this gets published every year. Since 2014, Government of India has taken this initiative of publishing Skill India Report and it has been instrumental in opening our eyes to not only job market in India but ever so industries which are part of this job market and whether they are evolving to what extent. There are cities also which we can pinpoint and say that which all cities are emerging and they keep changing every year. So Skill India 2020 report is the latest report that actually caught my attention and eye and has reached more than 3 lakh students across 28 states, 9 union territories and over 150 employers. So this is an Indian scenario that we are talking about and mind you that this particular study has uh, been taken from uh, two such sources. T-A-G-G-D, which is a People Strong Recruitment Solution brand, which is the largest recruitment process outsourcing, which has more than 100 clients all across 14 sectors, which include big names like Pfizer, Wipro, Honeywell, Mahindra, Birla Soft, Tata Motors, Renault, Nissan, Aditya Birla Health Insurance, City, India Mart, Swiggy, Oyo, Quicker, and so on and so forth. It also takes into account VBOX, which is again a 3 million user annually across the globe. Across the globe, VBOX benchmarks over 3 million users annually across the globe, and which has more than Fortune 500 corporations and hundreds and large of medium enterprises to power their hiring and competency. So, VBOX. National employability test was also taken into account in this in generating India skills report 2020. Now, Confederation of Indian Industry CII is also a part of this particular uh, report, along with United Nations Development Program, All India Council for Technical Education, which we all know it by the name AICTE. Association of Indian Universities, these are all part of, of the Skill India Report 2020. Now this report is a combination of an assessment of 3 lakh candidates from 3500 educational institutes across 28 states and 9 union territories. India who appeared for the VNET and 150 corporates across 9 industry sectors who participated in India hiring intense survey so this is a survey report which i'm trying to bring it to you all and it is very very important for all of us to understand now industry 4.0 is getting ready so this report is eyeing for something like that and it has all those people who are influential in all the institute the names that i have just mentioned So let us talk about few of the highlights of this particular report, India Skill Report 2020. So uh, how was employability change over the years uh, from starting from 2014 where it stood around almost 34 percentage to 2020 it has reached to 46 percentage. Now, now this is all black and white and this clearly says the employability change over last seven years which domains have more employable talent i think engineers right from 51.74 as good as what it was 52 percent in 2014 it has gotten reduced to 49 percent in 2020 mba has increased from 41 to 54 Arts from 19 to 48 percent, BCom from 27 to 47 percent, a substantial one. BSc from almost 42 to 34, it has gone down. MCA 43 to 25 percent, ITI 46 to the data is not available because for last two years, I think the ITI ITI is going uh, for a, a sudden change, you know, on a sudden transition. 
so it the figures may not be available polytechnic from almost 12% to 32% so there are a lot of jobs available from of polytechnic b farm has again reduced from 55 to 45% how is the hiring intent changed every year how it is from 2014 it was just 2% 2015 it took a jump 23% substantially came down in 2016 to 14% and now 2020 is seeing the least amount of hiring the hiring intent across all sectors if you see that the banking and financial and the pharma sectors uh, the healthcare and the telecom which was there prevailing in 2014 has taken a toll a taken a circle and now in 2020 the banking and financial services insurance bpo kpo ites internet businesses has taken over so clearly a domino effect which is seen uh, due to this pandemic uh, has also seen the same sector which are beneficial especially the bpo kpo ites and internet businesses so which sectors have hired the most i think the online sectors are doing good but as soon as the pandemic will go definitely there will be a lot of retail e-commerce bfsi is one thing banking financial services is one thing which is clearly emerged out as the biggest common sector right from 2014 to 2020 which domain has hired the most number of candidate i think the undergraduate or equivalent 2014 it was 6% 2020 it becomes 8% iti 6 to 3 again it is it is reducing that's the reason it is it is not showing uh, in the above graph which we have discussed earlier polytechnic again it has come down from 8 to 3 pg or equivalent is from 6 to 6% to 13% mba or pg dm diploma courses in the management from 22% to 17% uh, marginal decline there graduates bca bba bcom or bsc etc from 24% to a 2% growth 26% engineers i think 28 to 3% growth 31% which states have the maximum hiring activity now uh, in 2018 2017 2015 if you say then the western part of india has grown whereas gujarat is the third highest hiring in 2018 delhi had the second highest hiring in 2014 to 2019 maybe but i think it has gone uh, the shift has gone to tamil nadu and andhra more so in 2020 as uh, with the formation of telangana so uh, quite a revelation but one thing is for sure that no one particular state has is ruling so the shift is happening but majorly the western part of india has emerged out as the largest 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 job attractors uh, in in all over india as you take note of the india report 2020 we all know that there are f- certain uh, you know studies surveys which are put into a graph now this graphical representation would not be that difficult to interpret only thing is that we all need to understand as there is certain emergence of few employability skills employability test involves the various uh, organizations those who are involved in generating this particular survey and the kind of institutes participating they are all very well established and well entrenched institute of indias and they are all contributing to the factual figures of what is happening in terms of employability and how youths of today are shaped up it is also important for all of us to understand that there is definitely a skill gap now wanting you all to understand that there is a demand and supply and that's how the labor market or the job market operates but there is definitely three things which which are clearly clearly a big indicator of why this skill india report is in place yes first is the qualification the second is the experience and third is the skill so all three if they are in place i think the job market works and augurs well for all who have been trying the level best to prepare 
their best and get involved into the employability or the employment scheme.